Ladies, if you want to know why a man has to court you in order to respect you and commit, and, and trust me, it will 10x his attraction for you if you do this, okay? Then watch this video and watch it till the end, please, because this is a very fundamental video. This is a video that everyone needs and everyone needs to understand in order to get guys to commit. But with enough of that, Let's jump right into it. So the first thing I want to do is lay down the groundwork. I, I have a saying that I go by in life, but I say it a lot when it comes to dating and I'm talking to my clients, and that is without structure, there is chaos. Mother nature or the universe, whatever you want to call it, has a very mechanical, a very systematic way on how things should work. And if you go against the grain, things are going to blow up in your face. And Mother Nature, or the universe, we'll, we'll say Mother Nature, the, uh, the Mother Nature is going to give you multiple chances, multiple warning signs. And if you ignore them, they will increasingly uh, get worse to the point where it blows up in your face. So if we were to use an example of eating junk food or just eating crap, right? If you keep on eating it, well, what's going to happen? You're going to get very tired and lethargic. That's the first warning. Mother Nature's like, okay, I'm going to give you this warning. If you keep on doing it, well, now you're going to get high blood pressure and you're going to get uh, some weight gain. Well, if you keep on doing it, obviously those things are going to get worse and you're going to get pre-diabetes maybe, uh, hypertension. And if you keep on going, it will lead to death. You're getting all these warning signs. It is no different with dating. If you're talking to a guy who is not courting you, we have a problem. Why? Because from an evolutionary perspective, a woman is at a higher risk of choosing a wrong mate. There is more uh, go, going bad for her if she chooses the wrong, the wrong mate versus a man. If a man chooses the wrong mate, it's like, oh man, I just banged a girl, oh shucks. Like, it, nothing, nothing happens to him. However, if a woman from an ancestral time, right, if you choose the wrong mate, everything just gets thrown as a disaster. You're more vulnerable to predators, you're slower, you need more assistance, uh, not, you're not at optimal health, uh, or things can go wrong with you health-wise. You're ostracized by other men because men do not want to take care of another woman's uh, child uh, or another man's child, and you're going to need more calories and nutrients. There's a thing called parental investment theory, which basically states that out of a man and a woman of, of all species, mostly women are the choosier sex because they have more at risk for picking the wrong one. Um, women, you know, you bear the child, there's risk in all that. So you have to double down on picking the right guy. Now the thing is, well, how do I do that? You get a man to court in you. You get a man to invest. Ladies, courting is currency. Courting is the currency of dating. You have to get a man to invest in you. Now, why is this so important? Because your job is to pick the wisest option, the best option, the most surefire option. You cannot find this out unless a man is courting you. If you were to just give every guy a chance, you're going to have problems. Or even every guy that you like a chance, you're going to have problems. Like I said, there, there's a system. It's very mechanical the way Mother Nature wants this all to work. He has, she, uh, the guy has to invest in you. The guy has to be consistent. The guy has to want a relationship. If any of these things are wrong, Mother Nature, again, the things that Mother Nature put in place for it to work, if any, if any of these things are wrong, you're the one paying the cost. You are going to pay the cost of this. An analogy I like to use a lot is, let's say you're starting a, a lawn mowing business, okay? If you were just to go up to every uh, building or home that has grass, you're gonna get a lot of no's. There's gonna be a lot of people who don't wanna pay the money or don't need their grass cut. However, if you're going up to uh, uh, businesses or homes or buildings, whatever, that have taller grass that need cut, your, your, your chances of, uh, of a client being like, hell yeah, let's do this, is dramatically increased because there's a demand there. The same thing with dating. You cannot just talk to all these dudes who you like who and give all these guys the benefit of the doubt and multiple chances even though they effed up a million times. 
You should only be giving your time to men who are willing to court you, do it consistently, and uh, I guess invest all their resources into you, time, energy, effort, money, things like that, um, and who are actually looking for a relationship. Now, of course, if you want to know how to filter men better and you want more information on the evolutionary aspect of dating, what men want, what attracts men, what we commit to, check out the link below. I have a guide or multiple guides actually. I have a bundle and they're at a discount right now. So don't miss that. Link is down in the description. So with all that being said, let's think of it like this. What happens if you don't have a man court you? We already know the importance of courting. It helps you filter men out. It, it, you're seen as higher value. You lower your risk, um, you know, and, and that kind of stuff. But what happens if you don't, okay, you don't let a man court you, or he does in the beginning, then it kind of dies off? Well, many things. You have to understand that men are playing the same game as you ladies. Men want to avoid risk, and he wants to avoid um, investing his resources in the wrong woman. Again, lower his risk. So if he can avoid, uh, I guess, investing his resources altogether, he's going to. Think of it like this. If a man can have you come over and hook up with him instead of him having to take you on two, three, four, five dates, you know, spend money, time, energy, effort, all that, getting to know you and all that crap, then get in your pants. What do you think he's going to do? He's just going to do the, 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 you know, the primary or the, the first thing. He's going to have you just come over, hang out, have fun, hook up. Men, men are doing the same thing. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, he's going to take you for granted. Here's there's a really important concept that I tell women. It's like it's the sunken uh, the the sunken cost fallacy basically, um, where if a man's initially investing in you, okay, because he wants something, he doesn't he if, if he wants to lower his risk of what he's already lost or losing you. That, right, he has to increase his investment, and vice versa. For you to lower your risk, you want men who raise their investment. So it's a win-win either way for both parties. If a man is investing in a woman that he likes and that is on the same page as him, which is why I always tell women you got to filter a guy and ask if he even wants the same thing as you. None of this, see where it goes. Let's see what happened. N none of that. You have to say, you both have to say, I'm looking for a relationship, I'm looking for something serious, I'm looking to settle down, those kind of things, okay? But if you have a guy who is consistently investing his resources into you over time, okay, this dramatically increases your um, your likelihood of a guy committing, a guy liking you, a guy, um, uh, a guy wanting a relationship. Otherwise, why would he do it, right? It just doesn't make sense. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, well, I know a lot of guys who would do it for two, three, four months. Listen, if you're talking that long to a dude and he's not your boyfriend, that's on you. That's not even him. So whatever. Whatever. I, I have women who talk to guys for months and, and they're still single. I'm like, that's not even his fault anymore. He just played the game better than you. Okay? But ladies, a man's going to avo uh, avoid risk at all costs. That means if he doesn't want a relationship with you, he's going to try to cut corners. He's not going to invest the resources. He's just going to have you come over and not take you on dates. So you need to have men who, again, if they want to lower their risk, they have to raise um, they have to raise their investment. That's what you're looking for. So with that being said, ladies, if you want more on this act, I have a video right over here that will help you uh, with power dynamics. I think that's a very important concept with all this. So if you're interested in that, just click that link right over there or that video right over there, and I'll see you over there. Ladies, I love you. Take care and peace.